speakers, Billy Gibbons, Sharon, Global Account Executive for JMJ Associates, where she uses her 23 years of experience to create incident and injury-free and high-performance workplaces. Billy has consulted for various industries and has taught and conducted research in life cycle safety and design, applied construction ergonomics and safety management. Please welcome Billy Evans. Good morning. Today I have the distinct pleasure of representing the research of Team 284 and its members and the work that we've accomplished over the last couple of years. I'd like to uh, recommend that if any of you have never served on a CII research team before, it's an incredibly fulfilling experience and I recommend it highly. Our team purpose, uh, and every person on the team was truly dedicated to this, is to achieve a breakthrough in safety performance by going beyond what we tend to hyper-focus on of the kinds of things we're avoiding, like incidents and injuries, of course, to identifying what we actually want to include, which is measuring leading indicators. Our research objective were twofold. First, it was to identify leading indicators and their measures that would help generate this next breakthrough in construction safety performance. And then the second one is to actually produce the tools that identify, measure, and track leading indicators to realize this breakthrough performance. What we really believe is that to go beyond where we are, we need to focus on where we want to be. And as our research team uh, came to realize, leading indicators is that place. What we mean by going beyond zero is making the absence of incident and injuries a reality through intentional, moment-by-moment -moment creation of project safety. Creating a work environment in which the absence of incident and injuries isn't just a possibility, but a reality. So what are leading indicators? Our research team identified and defined leading indicators as the measures of attitudes, behaviors, practices, or conditions that influence construction safety performance. We uh, defined two specific categories of leading indicators. The first one is what we call passive indicators. And these are safety strategies that are generally implemented before a construction phase begins to set the project up for success. Examples of this might be pre-qualification process for contractors, safety expectations in contracts, and consideration of safety and constructability reviews. Our team identified over 100. The second one, are what we refer to as active leading indicators, practices or observations that really can be measured and adjusted during the construction phase. Oh, Billy. Billy. It's, it's Billy. Billy. Yeah, Don't worry yeah. about it. Dr. Zigger, it's so nice to see you. Good morning. Welcome. Good morning, Billy. Satellite Delta 7 detected a gathering of people, and we wanted to make sure you knew where the emergency exits were. Oh, yes. We did actually cover that, Doctor. Everyone, this is Dr. Zigger Height of Zigger Height Labs. Um, Doctor, we were just about to jump into this topic of leading indicators. Oh, Billy, it's much safer not to jump, but to step. Well, of course, Doctor, but what can you tell us about leading indicators? I'm so very happy. This is one of my favorite subjects. Well, me too, but why? Because it makes me look like a magician. You see, Leading indicators are simply pieces of information from the now, which hint a little bit about the future. They indicate to what we are leading up to. If you put a lot of these pieces together, you have a pretty good shot at predicting the future. Wow, could you tell us more about that? Well, you see these things all the time. Every time you look at the Dow Jones or NASDAQ, 
You are really looking at the behavior of companies and trying to interpret their behaviors as signs of the economic future. In fact, the term leading indicator came from economics. Fascinating, really. I agree. But the most common example is something we've known all the way back to childhood. Of course, I mean going to the doctor. Every time a doctor looks at you, he's asking questions of himself. Is his skin healthy? How's her blood pressure? How are his reflexes? What is her temperature? How's his baseline? And so on. Every one of these answers, be they a measurement or a yes or no or whatever, the answers provide a clue about his current state. But just as importantly, each one is a clue about the future. It is a... It's a what? What is it? I'm waiting for you guys to say it. These oh. clues about the future are... Well, it's leading indicators, of course. No, Billy. Let the audience say it. Uh. Leading indicators. Okay, great. So, how are these two guys? Well, you may look at handsome over here. Hey. Wait a minute. And say, Exhibit Von will live to be 105, and you would be dead wrong. Exhibit 1 will probably only live for another 5 to 10 minutes. He drinks heavily, smokes like a chimney, eats like a pig, doesn't get any sleep, and hardly ever calls his mother. Oh, terrible. Oh. He's a bad boy. We can all be fooled by youth and a fast metabolism. I'm not feeling so good. I would certainly think not. Exhibit 2, on the other hand, while aesthetically he looks a little dumpy, <laughs> take it easy. His chubby belly hides the vitals of a superman. Picture perfect cholesterol, wunderbar blood pressure. He just needs to lose a little weight. Hey, I'm working on it. The moral to the story is that leading indicators work very well when taking a variety of measurements to accurately predict the future of an economy or a body or any system you are looking at. Which brings me back to your talk, Billy. Mm -hmm. Exhibit 2 really isn't a person. I'm not. No, dear boy. You're a metaphor. Exhibit 2 a very healthy project. There's a few too many people working on it. When I checked his pulse, I was really checking on the project's safety audit score. When I took his blood pressure, I was really assessing the stop work authority. Who am I? What am I? You are a very healthy project. The point is, when a doctor checks your cholesterol and your blood pressure and tells you don't eat so much bacon, he's using leading indicators to save your life. And likewise, on construction projects, when we check safety audits, housekeeping, near miss reporting, worker involvement, worker observations, stop work authority, safety leadership training, hazard recognition programs, or any of the many other leading indicators for safety, we are measuring so that we can make suggestions that can improve our safety culture and save lives. And that is my leading indicators of one, one of my favorite things. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you so much for joining us today. Our research revealed some pretty incredible findings we want to be able to share with you. For example, did you know that CII members are aware or know about leading indicators, but most don't track, measure, or even respond to them? But we've learned that the more projects implement passive leading indicators, the more they achieve world-class performance. We'll show you some numbers for that. However, that's insufficient to go beyond safety or beyond zero. 
Our leading indicators are the key to realizing breakthrough safety performance, and we really want you to be able to get that. Our implementation will give you everything you need to go beyond zero. For example, of the 100 passive leading indicators, the more you implement those, the more, uh, the lower your total recordable incident rate is. But that isn't enough to go beyond zero. It's insignificant. What we know, and what is really important, is how to look at active leading indicators. You'll learn about this tool, about how to identify, select, select and measure leading indicators. You'll learn about our research, which leading indicators are most effective to get the breakthrough results, how to identify them specifically for your project, and the tools you need to track and measure them. You'll get a, a thumb drive with you, a list of the indicators, the slides, um, and a list of the most commonly asked questions. And the doctor will be in. Thank you.